welcome back to my channel if you don't know who i am hi my name is melina and welcome to my channel I look kind of ratchet for first impressions so with everything going on um with el virus um i have not been able to film i've been homeschooling the boys or well, noah and getting zachary involved um and it's just been you know just been hectic 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 and i hope you guys are safe um my family's doing good um i <laughs> Zachary got sick like literally like when this whole thing this whole pandemic started he had a strep throat I got it Matthew got it it's just been like crazy but knocking on wood you know yeah but we've been trying to keep ourselves safe we've been you know social distancing um uh the gyms have been closed so I've been walking um to the uh, been still getting working on my fitness um, and, um, the parks have been, like, crazy, and I've just been just walking to my neighborhood, but anyways, um, I've been, I got some goodies before this whole pandemic happened, and it's just been collecting dust, I have not played with makeup in about, like, two weeks, and I was like, you know what, I want to get out of this funk, I want to distract myself, and I want to distract you guys, I love watching YouTube videos, like, whenever Jeffree Star or um, Shane Dawson, he posted this like, you know, this video. I was like, oh, it's just distracting. I just want to distract. I just want to play with makeup, and just you know, just just play with makeup. That's what I want to do. So, but yeah, um, I got new glasses. I've been like keeping myself distracted. I did my own nails, so I've been keeping myself distracted. Um, and yeah, like I said, I got new goodies before this whole thing happened, and it's been like collecting dust. Well. My, my palette has like I before this whole thing happened I did mention in my um Bretman Rock video that I had uh Matthew purchased the what the, the Shane Dawson palette and then he got me the blood sugar I have not been able to play with those but that's gonna be in a separate video but I've been playing with Miss Androgyny I can't even pronounce it but this baby right here like two three weeks ago and I want to play with it again so been you know just, I just want to play with makeup I just want to play with makeup but the the big thing from the title of this video is I'm going to be playing with these brushes from Amazon so I needed some new brushes because majority of my brushes are from the dollar store like 90% of my brushes are from the dollar store the 99 cent store and I've been having them for like about two, two years now. And it was time for new brushes. Like the bristles were just all like those, like that. And wasn't performing like how I was used to. So I needed some new brushes. And um, I still have, I still saved some face brushes that I absolutely love that I've, you know, collected, you know, like bits like whenever like Wet n Wild comes out with like a new, um, like, what is it called? A new collection i'll just pick up one brush but i just needed a new whole new brush set but i am a bish on a budget so these brushes let me get to the point um let me just put my hair up let me put it back i did get new glasses because your girl was going blind and on my weight loss journey i'm still working out with this whole pandemic i try to do two to three miles a day uh, today i only did one mile well, a mile and a half because I had Noah with me and his little legs couldn't keep up. But I try to keep myself busy. I work out at home, you know, do planks and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to prime my face. And while that's um, like waiting for it to like like set or whatever, get sticky, I'm going to explain to you about these brushes. So I'm just going to prime my face, prepare it. Like I always do and I'm just gonna use everything that I use I'm gonna link it down below because I don't want to make this video longer than I'll you know longer than it is but just grab a snack guys enjoy grab a drink grab some popcorn some snacks and just enjoy it and that's you know I love watching YouTube videos you know especially during this time um keeps me distracted from what's been going on but we're, we're doing good um you know we've been uh, sorry my camera just cut off but anyways <laughs> Bitch was like, stop record, stop, stop, uh, stop talking, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I've been, homeschooling's been good. Um, just keeping the boys busy and stuff like that. No, Zachary wants to get involved. So it's, it's kind of crazy trying to get, you know, Noah situated and then Zachary and stuff like that. But, um, but yeah, my weight loss journey, I'm still doing good. I so far have lost 23 pounds. I'm out of the 180s, which was my biggest 
annoying but you know now i just my goal weight is to be like in the 160s and right now i am 178 so i'm still working out you know but yeah i hope you guys are doing good but um back to the the situation of the brushes so i needed new brushes and i got a notification it was like two weeks ago about the james charles brushes i think it was like two weeks ago I have to look through my emails, but it was like a while back and it said that the James Charles brushes because like I love Morphe and um, they're like, oh, the James Charles brush set is back in stock. And I looked at it, I was like, oh, 150, but it comes with like a whole bunch of brushes. They're sponge and I was like, your girl needs a new sponge because my my wild child <laughs> destroyed my sponge. But, but anyway, so um i was just like uh it's not important with 150 dollars plus you know all that tax and stuff like that that can pay a bill so i was like scrolling through amazon just you know keeping myself busy and these brushes came up i'm just gonna like let everything just dry and everything um these are just up and i've i've used these, their brushes before like their kabuki brush whenever like the kabuki five set was like big and pop and i think it was like five years ago i used them they lasted me like a long time i think they lasted me like for about like a year or two no i think it was like long like, I think it was, like, like two years and then they, they were good they were amazing they performed good so i found these brushes on amazon and um yes i think how did i order those just up brushes i think it was through ebay that was the last first and last time i ordered from ebay but these i got them from specifically from amazon i ordered them monday and they were supposed to get here thursday but they showed up a day early so yeah but they're cute um this 25 piece brush set i think it was like 20 dollars i'll put the price right here and then this one is the 15 brush set which was like I think like 50, pretty much it was like a dollar a brush, but combined the, like I spent like $50 and there's like 44 something. I was like 49 something. It was like pretty much like less than a dollar a brush just combine everything together. So I've already opened this one and the packaging is sickening. Like Jeffree Star would say it. And it comes like in this little, comes with like this little foamy thingy and the brushes were, individually wrapped and they reminded me so much like i did a comparison with matthew Matthews, like go for it baby you need new brushes go for it just but they look exactly like the morphe brushes and i've like i said i've had morphe brushes like a long time ago and but yeah and they have like names on it, it says jess up and it has like names and numbers come on but oh it's not like focusing but yeah these are the eye brushes i'm gonna keep these babies right here and then the face brushes and it came like it came wrapped you know like and oh, that clear wrap and then it comes with like a little card and um another thing and it like came like this so but yeah it has like a whole bunch of face brushes highlighter brushes so and then to make it pretty much like a dupe for <laughs> um james charles brush thing i got myself a booty blender but this is from believe um i went to dollar general so we've been just trying to avoid going to the big mainstream stores and we've just been going to dollar tree and i sent store dollar general and i saw this was like for two dollars a booty sponge because i use wet and wild sponges and they're like five dollars Maybe less than that. I was like, for two dollars, the brush is not bad, or sponge it's not bad. So I'm gonna wet this baby and I'll be back. So I'm back and um, it got bigger and it's like the same shape as the Morphe um, sponge. Sorry, Morphe sponge, but it's in blue. So I'm gonna do half sponge and half the brush right here. So it comes with a buffer brush and this is the 104 buffer brush. And I'm gonna use my favorite foundation. Like I'm, I'm I know how this foundation works, so. Yeah, I, got, I have my mirror. Before this whole pandemic happened, I, I grabbed a Jeffree Star mirror finally. And then I grabbed the Androgyny palette. So, yeah, I'm going to do all that stuff. So, like I said, I will link everything down below. Like, from the products that I use to these brushes and the booty sponge. But, yeah, Zachary destroyed my beauty sponge. Okay. It's like... It's like soft 
of course it's up it's not like hard and it ooh, it is blending my foundation so beautifully put it down my chest because uh, your girl i miss i just wanted to go swimming i was feeling myself but oh god oh my god knows why things happen why everything happens but Crazy, 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 crazy times. I'm gonna put a little bit. My eyes itchy. But yeah, I've been doing my nails. Um, just keeping myself distracted. I so far I didn't do too bad. I mean, like, kind of like, like I did like a little glittery moment right there. I did like the dip nails. I don't know why it's not like zoo, like you know. But yeah, I did like the little dip nails, and I use like a dollar. Like, it's like a kiss gel um, fingernail polish that I got from Dollar Tree. Okay. So, not too bad. You can tell the difference. I'm not leaving my foundation streaky. Like, I'm used to this foundation. So. Okay. Now I'm going to use the brush. Yeah, I got mongols. The brushes, they're super soft, um, no shedding. Oh, I'm a little hair, but nothing like too bad. Doesn't have a smell to it. And I did go up on my gauges. Um, I went up a size. I was like seven, nine, seven, sixteen, seven something, or pretty much like twelve mm's, and now I'm like at fourteen. So, okay. It's not leaving it streaky. Okay. Okay. It's not leaving my foundation streaky. I'm gonna put that on my neck, on my chest, because I have not gone outside really. Like when I do go outside running, I just wear like a jacket. So I need to go tanning. I'm probably gonna go tanning on my balcony. But so far so good okay sorry and then um i'm gonna use my concealer which is my elf concealer and i know there's a concealer brush here somewhere like i should have been better prepared i know that here this is a concealer yeah concealer buffer brush the 142 so some of the brushes are the same from the big set so just rambling jamming i'm not really prepared i haven't filled in a long time but And on the side, I'm going to use, like I said, the sponge. Like, I've seen videos of Believe. Like, Believe is, like, good. Their foundation, I did not try it out um, because I've read the description, like, the thing. And it says it's um, dewy. And I have oily skin. Okay, there's a bigger brush right here. This is a bigger brush. This is actually the shape or the face shape brush, which is the 110 brush. No shedding. So I'm gonna use this one actually for concealer to buff out my concealer. Oh, I don't think I need that much concealer. Cause it's just like not, oh girl, looking like a clam. Look like a drag queen. I had to put too much concealer. But. Oh, too much concealer. Because I'm so used to the beauty sponge. Like, see? Like, the beauty sponge, like, like soaks up a lot of the product. I should have put, like, a little bit. But, see, this is with sponge without sponge and I still have like a lot of product on there and I don't that's fine Ugh, whatever I don't want to look like a drag queen 
no offense to drag queens it's just it was just looking kind of crazy but I'll, I'll fix it okay and then it comes with the powder brush and the powder brush that i use usually is the this brush right here the elf brush and the barrel came off so yeah but i love those big fluffy brushes and it comes with a powder brush so these little thingies you can actually use them um so when you wash them dry your brushes like put it so like it keeps the shape but this brush is cute it's a little bit smaller than what i'm used to but this is it. it's the powder 106 and there's no like residue coming out because i know some brushes like they have like a little powder thing i don't see that on here and it doesn't smell no shedding they're super soft and i should have put everything out right here um set up but no okay i'm gonna use my um, my powder okay and then i don't know if there's like a face like hold on to like set there's a stippling brush, and I have not used a stip stippling brush in a long time. So, hmm. and then there's another brush. Oops, sorry. This is the definer buffer brush. So this would be like for contour, pink contour, which I don't use. I'm just trying to find a brush that I can use to set, or like not set, but like put my concealer. I think this one yeah i'm gonna use this one which is the one oh or 101 lux face definer brush which you would be used for contour but i'm gonna use this to set my under eyes i'm gonna use my air spun and i'm just gonna use this side the powder and then the other side um the the sponge And then I'm just trying to do everything. I'm getting freaking, como se dice, powder on my chi chi. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Okay, so I'm going to do my brows off camera. And then, because it's going to take a hot minute. And I don't want this video to be long because then if it is... <laughs> So I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll come back and we'll play with some shadows. Okay, brows are in place. So I was thinking while doing my eyebrows, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to focus on this kit because pretty much the same, like, the reason why I bought this one was because in the James Charles brush set, a lot of the brushes were double, especially the eye brushes. So that's why I bought two of these. So I'm going to put these aside because there's pretty much what's in that kit, the eye brush kit is in this kit too. So what I use for my brows um, is in both kits. Um, this I got this one from the eye kit, and this one from the bigger kit, and it's pretty much the same, it's, it's the same brush. Uh, this is the 132 detail brush, and I used it for my eyebrows, and it's, I like it. So I had not cleaned up my brush, my, I, had, I didn't clean the brushes yet, of course, but I've not cleaned up my brows, and I think I'm gonna use um, I know there's like a little beady, like little, little bitty, um, here, I'm going to use this brush to clean up my brows. This is the brow liner. This is a little bit too, like, thicker than what I like. I like more defined. So this is the detailed, the one, or, the 312 brush, and this is their, their eye brush, eyebrow brush, and this is the 322. So see the difference? So I like more detailed, you know, brush. Can't even talk, Melina. Can't even talk. More detailed brush for my eyebrows. My eyebrows are looking kind of funky. I'm gonna clean, like you know, um, blend them out a little bit. But I think once I um, what's it called? Um, conceal them. They'll look a little bit better. But yeah, did my brows a little bit darker because I had like a red tone brows and I dyed my hair like a jet black today like a blue black so that's why I went with like a darker 
brow thing, but yeah, so I'm gonna pretty much like snatch up my brows. I like how my makeup looks like, oh my god, so good. But also with the whole situation, Matthew and I have been getting into new shows. We actually started watching 90 Days. And 90 Day Fiance. And we were never into that show, like shows like that. But it was just interesting to watch. And then we started watching Before the 90 Day with No Neck Ed. And I am obsessed with No Neck Ed. And um, the reason why I got into the 90 Days... So I was trying to find No Neck Ed and come to find out it was before the 90 days. And then we just started watching it and we became obsessed. Okay. And I'm going to set that. I like the brushes here. Like, oh, I'm not, I've not done this in a long time. It, was, it hasn't been a long time. But anyways, I can't even know what day we're on, what planet we're on. I'm going to use the 223, the Petite Eye Blender, to pretty much set my concealer up. And I'm just going to use my air spine. And I'm just going to just set that so that I have oily skin. I'm a fried chicken, pretty much. They're, they're, they're good. They're good. So I am going to blend or prep my eye, my eyelid. And um, usually I use a brush and I'm going to use the 142, which is in the big kit, the 25 brush set and also in the eye brush set. So there's like, a, you know, a couple, like I said, like the reason why I bought the two kits just because I wanted like pretty much like a dupe for the the James Charles brushes, which in the James Charles brushes there's 33 brushes and and, um, and in total with these brushes there's 40. So in total I spent like 45 dollars or 40 something dollars, and it was pretty much like less than a dollar a brush if you want to be technical. I have not contoured yet. I'll do that later. So I have the eye brushes here. Let me make a room. Okay. So these brushes are cute. They remind me so much of the Morphe brushes. Like I used to have a couple Morphe brushes like five years ago when I started like wanting to get more into makeup. So that's when I got my table. I got like a couple brushes from Morphe and that's when I got like the the 35O palette and all that stuff. So I'm taking off the sleeves, but good times, good times. Oh, and it comes with a Lux highlighter brush, which kind of looks like the the James Charles brush, but this is a little bit more stiff, shorter, but, hmm. but yeah, it's a lot of plastic, plastic, plastic's not good. Y'all should see my room right now. Yeah, I have all the eye brushes here. And it's, oh, it comes with another concealer, or well, technically the concealer brush right here, the cream shader and all that stuff. At the end, I'll put them out. I just wanted to play with them. And I'll put like the timestamp just to show you guys the brushes. But I'm just playing with them. I should have done the brushes, like show you the brushes from the beginning. But okay, so here are the eye brushes. And they're look like the Morphe brushes. They really do. There's no shedding. So let's get on to this. So I'm going to use the um, this brush, which is the 227 Luxie Soft Definer brush. And I'm going to use Charm right here. This beautiful color. And I'm going to put that on my crease. I'm going to do one eye on camera and then off camera, oh, off camera the other eye. So there was a little hair, but nothing too bad. But it is, they're not like rough.
There's one little hair right here that's bothering me. That's all trickle. Bert Smith is doing good. He's really doing good. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. I really am impressed. <clears throat> I'm sure it gets to the core. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the 221, the Luxie Soft Crease. And we're just gonna grab Charm again. That is sorry, I just feel so good. I'm just like blending. And I'm gonna use that same brush and I'm gonna grab um Androgyny, the shade right here. It's picking up really good. I feel like just a soft look because even though I'm not going I'm just gonna be at home we're thinking about watching um does my I have not seen dumb and dumber in a long time like growing up I would see bits and pieces of it and they're like it's on tv right now like um on demand so I was watching it and Matthew started watching it too and he's like man like he was just like staring into it just watching it and um I was like Rewatching it again because I missed some bits and pieces of it and um, They have dumb and dumber Two, dumb and dumber Two. so we're gonna watch that tonight. I'm gonna be using the 228 Lux crease brush and I'm gonna grab dominatrix. Oh my gosh. So Jeffree Star got two poopies And the female one is named dominatrix like I was like yes, honey. Yes, bitch. I was just so happy. I was like, so mad. It's like, I want a poopy. I was like, when we get a house, I want a Pomeranian. I've always wanted a Pomeranian. My grandma had a Pomeranian. His name was, what was his name? Peluche, which means like, pretty much like stuffed animal. Because that boy was like fluffy. And I'm going back with uh, 221 with Charm. But he passed away and... I remember growing up, I wanted, um, I wanted a, a Pomeranian. Okay, I am loving that. Okay. The shadows are amazing. This palette, I mean, the, the palette's amazing. So I'm going to do a little half cut crease. I'm going to use, um, I'm gonna use this. The, no, I think I'm gonna use this one, the two two no two thirty three cream shader to do like half a cut crease, and um, let's see how this goes. Oh, I got some on my lid. I'm so clumsy. Oh, I burped spit. Okay, so she does the job really well. I had some on my lower lash. It's like doing like amazing. Mm, I like these brushes. Like don't sleep on Amazon sometimes guys like. I'm impressed. Okay, so I'm going to use the. 226 smudger brush um, or actually no I'm going to use the 234 the Luxe Smoky Shader brush it's like a little white one and I'm going to use Safe Word and just pretty much um, lay that out no well, actually I'm going to use Deja Vu Oh, honey. Yes. My stupid chair squeaking. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna go back with um the fetish 
Oh, gap fetish. I just pretty much like put that right here. And then dominatrix with 220. Um, 221, sorry. Oh, and bougie is just like saying all these neat, like numbers and stuff like that. Okay, and then um, I'm going to put frosting, like frosting. Oh, I'm so obsessed with it. Um, oh, it's a little pointy brush. I'm going to use the 230 Luxie pencil brush with frosting. Ooh, frosting, I use it as a highlighter the first time I got it, and I was just like shook it. Okay, so I'm going to take this off, and I, I think I'm going to use... What's this one? I'm gonna use the 127 pretty much to take off. Okay. I'm just gonna do a little blending right here. And then I'm gonna grab a smaller brush if I can find it, which is I'm gonna use 231, the petite crease brush. I'm gonna grab charm. I'm just gonna put a little bit right here, close to my brow bone, and then I'm gonna grab safe word and put that all to my brow bone. Okay, and then underneath, I'm gonna grab 226, a smolder brush. I'm gonna grab androgyny. And I'm going to put that on the bottom. I have not played with Military Poison or Swallow yet. I am going to, but not today. And then Dominatrix. But, yeah. So, I'm obsessed. I'm going to do the other eye off camera. And then, yeah. I am might as well do my eyes. Or my other eye, my lashes, my eyeliner, and all that jazz. And then we're going to do contour, blush, highlight. And then, yeah, I'll tell you my final thoughts and opinion. Okay, I'm back with my lashes and my eyeliner. My eyeliner is a little thick. It, it is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to contour. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Dulce de Leche contour. And um, I think there is a contour... Thing. Like this is liquid contour. Or this is for like liquid contour. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this. Okay, this is the 103 buffer brush. And I, this is like for like liquid contour, but not too bad. I still have my baking powder. Little lash glue. I like it. Doing the jaw. In case you guys are wondering about my plugs, I also got them on Amazon. Like Amazon has been the <laughs> way I've been getting pretty much everything. Um, I got these little, they're like opal plugs. They're like little kitten ones. Wait, hold on. Right there. Right there. They're cute. Or whatever they're really cute i like them matthew got them from amazon because we did we share an amazon account and he ordered these like in february and um one of them actually broke this one and i had to get another one but yeah they're they broke because um i was getting out the shower and the plug fell out even though i just like went you know went in a bigger size it fell out I was like crap because I lost the backing to it. And um, yeah, but it's okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna use I'm gonna bronze up my face. I think I'm gonna use um I have not used all the brushes here, honestly, guys. Um I'm gonna use a stippling brush, which is the 125. So I don't wanna go like too bronzy. Wait, so I have not used all the brushes in this palette it's okay. not palette brush set it's okay though it's okay and then i'm just gonna put like a little of that dulce de leche the, the white one and i think i'm going to use sorry i'm like all up in the bubble 
I'm gonna use this one, the 127 brush, which I can pretty much to brighten it up here. Uh, did, did I put a blush out? I've not put blush. I didn't grab the blush. Okay. I'm gonna go with this one. The Wet n Wild Pinch Me Pink, a little pinky shade with glitter. Oh, we'll use this one. This is a petite stippling. This is 122. Let's see how this works. I'm trying to use all the brushes, but I have not. I know it's not meant for blush, but it's like a little pinky moment. Okay. Not too bad. It's like really dense though, I like that. And then um, the highlighter, I'm gonna use the 105 um, Luxie highlighter and I'm gonna use the frosting shade as my highlighter. Like, look at that. Ooh. Like I've been actually wanting to try out the Jeffree Star's um, uh, highlighters. And I've been like eyeballing some, but with this with this pandemic that's been going on, I'm I'm too. That's why I've been relying on Amazon because Amazon, the longest it'll it'll take is like like four or five days. Okay, and that is it. So how do I feel about the brushes? I like them. I really do. Like if, if you're starting on brush or starting on makeup, you know, you don't want to spend too much. Really do recommend these. Um, I, like I said, I have brushes, but I have to throw a lot of them away. Like I had more than what I have now in the background. But um, my lips are looking kind of... So I'm going to put some... Where's my thing? My little lip oil, which smells so good. I got it from Dollar Tree. Like I'm telling you, I've, I've just going to Dollar Tree. And, um, it smells so good. It smells like watermelon. But, I like how my makeup looks. Mm. I love how my makeup looks, honestly. But it did a good job. So, I'm going to bring you know the brushes so it comes with a powder brush which is the 106 106 i'm i don't know the order so i'm just gonna you know and then it comes with a buffer brush the 104 which is like not a flat top or it is a flat top it's not a round top like and i'm gassy and uh james charles brush kit but um, it come, uh, this is the 103, the de definer brush, which is like an angled flat top. And it comes with a stippling brush, the 125 stippling brush. I like this brush. The 101 face definer brush, which is like a little, you know, pointed top. And then it comes... There's uh, the 127, the Lux Sheer Cheek, which as you guys saw, there was a little hair right there. Um, I just use this underneath my my eyeball. And then the 122 Petite Stippling, which did a pretty good job as a blush brush. And then the one. The 110 Face Shape Brush, which was a really good concealer brush. The one, or sorry, the 109 Lux Face Paint, which I would use this to like shape my nose, which I don't, but I'm actually, I think, thinking about start doing it. <laughs> yeah. But, um, or to like get like that chiseled look. But yeah. And then 
the one the 105 Lux highlight brush, which was a really good highlighter brush. They're like black. They're not matte black, but they're like like kind of like an onyx black, if that makes any sense. You know, the barrel. And then the the lettering is like kind of like like has like a shit like a shift to it and then the, there's the um, 142 the concealed buffer brush to get like more defined or to like you know um make it more close to um buff out your okay and then it comes it has the 222 the Luxie crease which I really do like it it was really I liked it and this brush right here to do like the cut crease the 233 the cream smudger brush might as well just have them all in my hand I'm still gonna keep the boxes that type of person because once this whole thing is over I'm going to Houston and I, uh, these, these are going to be my traveling brushes. I'm thinking about getting a kit. Like, my mom's trying to get into makeup. So I'm thinking I'm getting, I'm going to get her, like, the eye brushes. She was, she's just like, every time I, you come to Houston, I want you to do my makeup. I was like, okay, mom. So, okay. And then there's the 221, the, the Luxie Soft Crease, which did a pretty good job. And then... I did not use this one, the Lux All Over Shader, which I think this would be a little bit too big for my eye, but like all over to like pack on, like just one shade, but yeah. I got small little lines. And then the 231 Luxie Petite Crease, which I like this because like I don't have anything like, the reason why I also wanted to pretty much rebuild my eye brush collection because like I don't have like little detailed brushes, like I'm trying to get trying to up my makeup game and I don't have that many like little detailed brushes like I just have a whole bunch of crease brushes so I feel like I got a hair so I keep like I do have a hair I have a lint right here like <laughs> yeah, I got it no it's still there it's okay so the 123 petite crease, which I really did like. And then um, the 227 Lexi Soft Definer, which I liked it. It was just weird. It's like flat. I think it's a flat. A nice. Hold on, guys. I have like a freaking pelo. Okay. So, sorry. Thought I was recording, but I guess not, but I'm feeling myself. Okay, I love this brush, the 230 Luxie Pencil Brush. For like right here. And then the 223, the Petite Eye Blender, which is like more packed on. So I would use this like, just like at the end, you know, just, you know, to get that like, like darker moment. And then this one is the... 234 Luxie Smoky Shader, which I use that to like pack on that um, copper color, which I forgot the name of it. And then I did not use this one, the 237 Detail Shader Brush, but I'll probably use this like underneath right here. And then um, I did like this one for my eyebrows, the 322 Brow Liner Brush. And then this one is the 317 wing liner so for gel I don't use gel but um, you know I could use this too to clean up my my eyebrows and then I really did like this one the 226 smudger brush underneath and then this one was my absolute favorite for my eye for my eyebrow which was the 312 detailed liner so that's all in the 25 brush set and then pretty much on the, the or the the face brush whatever la madre but pretty much um and that the the face eye brush the eye brush you have the pretty much the 222 all over eye brush um the the detailed brush the wing liner brush which looks like that i don't know if you guys can see it 
I'm trying to hurry this up, but yeah, this one's a little bit bigger. I don't know what I would use this one for. I don't know. For, like if like if I'm like in a hurry, just want to put like an an, an all over shade. I would just use this one, or you could use this one too for high. Actually, I'm gonna use this one for highlighter too. Um, a smudger brush like underneath that. The pencil pointed pencil like that one. So um, another cream these brush like this one. The 233, I'm obsessed with, like, for the cut crease. Um, the Petite Eye Blender, like, like I said, right there. The Another um, Eyebrow Pencil. And then pretty much the white brushes. So that's the reason why I bought both of the kits, because I was trying to make a dupe for the um, James Charles brush kits, which I spent, like, a third less of the price. Like, in total, it was, like, 50 I'll put the exact same amount, but for the 25 brush kit, I think it was like $23. And then the 15, I think it was like 16 or something like that. I, I'll put the right price for everything. But in total, I've spent like $50. And there's like 44 brushes. So I spent like 0 0.8, like pretty much less than a dollar a brush. So I did a pretty good job in this, this thing. The reason why I bought it was trying to pretty much like dupe the whole James Charles collection yes there's not so much like there's not a couple of the brushes like the paddle brush there wasn't on that but i thought this would be like a good do for the paddle brush but i'm obsessed with this one but um the the booty blender i'm gonna give it a try i'm used to the wet and wild brush or i am used to wet and wild brushes I'm used used to the wet and wild um spongy but this one was pretty good for two dollars two three dollars was not bad but overall, I liked it. And like I said, if you're trying to start to do makeup or, you know, professional makeup artists or just trying to do makeup at home or whatever, I really do recommend these brushes. I will link everything down below. I bought this with my own Munty. Um, but I'm obsessed. I really am. Like, I feel bougie. I really do. Like, I feel bougie. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be safe, guys. And yeah, I love you all. And mwah.